All right, guys, so what's going on? We're going to change it up a little bit now. Uh, we're not actually working on a car right now, but I thought, why not throw a video together for this? Because it's something kind of cool. We don't really touch it ever. So we have this used trailer we got a long time ago. And we're finally going to add a winch to it. Uh, we're not going to hook up the power fully yet, but we're going to put the winch in, the mount it, and get all that done. So as you can see, we got that there. We mocked it up where we're going to drill the holes with the pilot screw already. Uh, and there's a beam that goes right this way and this way. So all we're going to do is going to cut up some angle and weld that in. So we have our angle here. This is a scrap piece. So we're going to cut that all up and get it together. And uh, you'll see a little bit of us jerry-rigging something up to make it work for now. So let's go to the time lapse of us cutting up all the angle and getting that together. And then we're actually going to weld up the angles on a 90 degree, which I'll show you why after. Uh, see how it goes. Let's have some fun. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Because you can't stop it from shining through. It's true. Baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through For you Now we finished two of our brackets and right now we have Matt underneath the trailer. He's going to be preparing the frame for some yeah, nice fresh welds. Yeah. Okay. So ideally we would be working with fresh metal but seeing as this trailer is 20 years old um, it's pretty rusty underneath so Matt has gone under there, used his die grinder and he's cleaned up some fresh metal. Well as fresh as it'll get. That way the welds have something to stick to. So we're just doing a mock-up right now. I mean, obviously we're not professional winch installers, so we're just kind of winging it. Before. He's never welded before. So so we don't really want to go ahead and pre-drill our bracket, so we're going to tack it up everything to the frame, and then we're going to drill our holes from there. That way everything fits perfect. Hopefully.
Alright guys, so we're down here now at the fun part of the stage. Right where we're actually mocking it up. So you can see we tacked that one on. We got the hole drilled for it. So the plan is to actually set it all in place, tack all the brackets on, get it to the point where we can actually mount the winch in place temporarily. And then after that point, we'll go back and we'll actually re-weld everything and finish the welds, make sure everything's good. And if after that point, we'll uh, have to be doing some of the electrical work for it and hopefully that doesn't take too long and should be quick and easy because we're just gonna use jumper cables for now until we rewire all the trailer because uh, it's kind of a hack job, but that's what you get when you buy an old used trailer, so. All right, what's going on guys? So it's been honestly a couple weeks now since we did the trailer work. Now, from what you guys will see, the whole video is kind of scattered. It's not really good detail, but I will apologize for that. It was, we started working on that at 10 o'clock at night and we didn't finish at like 4 a.m. And we were in a rush because the next day we're supposed to tow a, uh, a friend's car and we just wanted to get it done so we could use it and try it out. I was gonna get a clip of us using it but I was the smart one who let my battery die and also my memory card was full, so therefore I didn't get a video of that. So I apologize for that, but there will be lots of videos like that coming down the road because we're gonna be doing a lot of work and projects at the shop, which are all coming up very soon. So kind of stay tuned and um, watch some more videos coming out. Thanks for watching.